Good afternoon everyone and welcome to your sunset bumble through the African bush. We are sitting here at a new water hole and we are absolutely stinkingly hot. We decided to park off in the shade. But good afternoon, my name is Lauren. Rian is on camera and we're very excited to be bumbling about with you. We tried to look for some cheetah earlier, ugh, but we couldn't find them. And it's just a little bit too hot to be honest. So we're just taking a breather and the most perfect place to do that really is the water hole at the end of the day. But of course, it's not just myself and Majikwe out on drive. Oh no, that would be rather boring. We have other teams out on drive. We have the beautiful ladies over in Juma Private Game Reserve. That is Taylor and Trishala, the two T's. And we do have the fantastic Mr. Rexon over in Pridelands. Rexon was my mentor. Big part of who I am today comes from Rexon. Squirrels do have huge testicles in comparison to their body size. And very often they will sit on them when they are in the upright position. And it is very noticeable. Um, and although it's you're probably having a chuckle, it is also so noticeable because the size difference is almost completely out of proportion. Doesn't really fit the body if that makes sense so I'm glad you highlighted that because it's staring us right in the face and it is of course to do with their reproductive strategy and squirrels generally have to produce a lot of sperm to ensure that they are the ones that actually sire the offspring there's a lot of competition in squirrels and in order to produce a lot of sperm you have to store a lot of sperm and well to store it must be a large storage space there's intense competition for mates, especially within gram squirrels. And therefore, in order to combat that competition, you will need to mate a lot and you'll need to have a lot of sperm in order to do that. And we have amazing, amazing, amazing sighting here with this elephant. They're really on top of the cup, which is very, very difficult. For us, as we think, the elephant it won't be easy for them to walk on top of the uh, copy like this. You can see all of them, they've covered the area from the right to the left. Even some of them, they're a little bit even higher in the position of this mat, right at the top of the, the table of this uh, uh, copy here. Unbelievable. They're looking specific for food, which it could be grass and other different part of a different, uh, I mean, uh, shrubs and trees that are also taking place on top of the mountain. They go in there specific for those. Sometimes you won't find them on the base of the mountain or anywhere specific geographically on top of the mountain. It's such amazing to see elephant doing this. It's really beautiful. It looks like all rocks. Meanwhile, some of them you can see that some movement of ears. Those are the elephant. I've seen that in most cases, more especially going to the fig tree, Sokomoro, Sokomoro forest, trees which is now on it, which is specific why it's going there, is that particular uh, tree which you can't find it on the, on the ground, very low on the rivers, they only take place on top of the rocks. Zaza, that's an interesting question. You've asked how do calves identify their mom? I, I imagine it's the same thing with most animals by the sense of smell. So when, the, when they're born, they're going to be able to smell mom. That little one is trying to suckle from another elephant, but you can't see it very well. It's just very entertaining. No, that's not mom, you silly little elephant. Um, so, so yeah, it's, uh, that's going to most likely be the, the main cause. It's just going to be able to, every, obviously like every human, we all give off our own pheromones and that little elephant will be able to smell mom too. Um, but at that age, it's not going to really be leaving mom's side. You know, it's starting to venture off, which is why I think it's probably over a month old, maybe even a month, a half, month and a half, just the longer I'm watching it and I'm seeing what it gets up to. You know, a tiny newborn elephant is literally going to stick to mom's side and and really not go anywhere at all and then as they get a little bit older they become more brazen and then they start hanging out with you know maybe an older sibling or something along those lines and wondering but also this herd is ra relaxed what's wrong with me I, my 
brain move faster than my mouth. It's so frustrating. Um, so the whole herd is relaxed. So mom actually doesn't mind that it's going off to the other elephants. It's, it's a very, like, it's so serene here. The birds are chilled. Elephants just feeding nice and quietly. That bull that was that came through and was quite annoying to the rest. He seems to have moved on. He didn't get what he was hoping for. Not you. That's very nice. Thank you so much for doing that. But multitasking because we can't waste any time. And now if humans did this, it's frowned upon. Right? Sucks being a person some days. <laughs> Look at that stretch in this golden light that's pouring through. Oh, magnificent. The lioness is here. She was probably here the whole time, but she's hidden among some really, really tall grass. Thank goodness we actually saw her underneath this silver cluster leaf. And she's actually a bit far. Oh, the kill is on the other side, so we can't actually see it. So that's where we were driving in before, on that side, and the kill is in there. Can't see it. She's breathing very heavily. It's much cooler now. I've put my jacket on. Maybe she's taking the temperature as a cue. Not only temperature, but also light as a cue for when to get moving. Our lioness is on the move. She's just heard something. I thought she might contact the call. And when I saw her the other day, yesterday morning, she looked a lot bigger than this. She can see that Betty swinging out from side to side. It's probably a food baby. She should be with her pride. I'm actually not sure how she got separated, but she's been separated for quite a bit now. But she's been contact calling, so it means that she's still in contact with her pride. Okay, we can get ahead. So she they get separated from their pride when they're when they're mating, when they're giving birth, that's times they would be separated. Oh, goodness. And she's turning completely. I thought she was going to go off to my right here, but she's going down there. Which means that we're still not going to be able to see her face. She is well and truly out of anywhere we could move to get a better view now. So we're just going to have to watch her walk away. Holding her secrets as to why she's separated. What's in her belly. All those secrets. Walk away with her. Slip away into the darkness like she is into the night. For me, the night is still a mystery. Out in the bush can only know you can only know where the light is you know for us at least so it's still a bit of a mystery I can't see where this camera is hang on oh there you are <laughs> it's been such a pleasure to be taking you on this game drive today it was really really lovely and I'm very happy to end it off with some elephants Now my eyes were extra unable to see anything because I was looking into the presenter light. <laughs> oh, I think I faintly heard a leopard sawing. Faintly. Ah, I love it. The mysteries of the bush in the evening. Beautiful. But it is time to say goodbye. We're winding down. We've had an awesome, awesome sunset safari. Thank you all so much for joining us. 
Thank you for your questions and your comments and your support. We'll see you again in the morning. Bye for now, everyone.